दिस इज द स्टोरी ऑफ हाउ आई हैक द वेंडिंग मशीन एंड गॉट पेड फॉर इट Enumeration has to be one of the most important and underrated things that you do while you exploit a system. Enumeration is just a fancy name given to collection of data that might make a system vulnerable. For example, obtaining information about operating system just by looking at the default wallpaper or obtaining MAC address by looking at the boot menu. Here is the image of boot menu or vending machine that I clicked not knowing that I was going to hack it. Now, once I had found the MAC ID or vending machine My next job was to finding it IP. For that, I used a tool known as BetterCap. BetterCap is a network enumeration and exploitation tool that I used in one of my past endeavors. As you can see, we are in terminal. To start BetterCap, we simply type BetterCap. Now, to start the network recognition, we need to type this command. Also, to start probing into the network, we have to type this command. and to stop these logs we have to type this so after waiting a couple of seconds using this command you can see ip associated with a mac so using this i was able to find ip associated with that particular map for the purpose of this video this will be the ip mac combination we will be using for testing purposes now once i had found the ip of the machine My next job was to find open ports. For that, I used Nmap. Nmap is a network enumeration tool that is used to find vulnerabilities in a machine or find open ports in a machine. Of course, in your private network. So, for finding open ports, I used this command. After letting it run for a couple of minutes, I found exact this output. So. here i could see port 3000 was open and service was unknown for the time and port 4000 was open and it ran a node js express framework now once i was done with the basic enumeration the next step was to visit every open port on that ip in search of an http page when i visited port 3000 i struck gold on my laptop i could see the main interface of the vending machine not fully loaded but it was there now the only thing left was to find the api responsible for dispensing the items and simulating that process before we continue let me give you a brief overview of how the machine worked so this was the machine's private ip in my network whenever user sent payment it was confirmed by an external server which was not in the private network once the server sent confirmation the machine triggered an api endpoint on the port 4000 that caused the item to be dispensed here you can see my college private network this was my ip and this was the machine's ip so all i had to do was trick the vending machine into dispensing the item cdp page was not loaded yet this was because it was failing some essential api requests the http page considered me as the vending machine but i did not have any express server running on myself so to replicate the vending machine i had to replicate their backend which was running on port 4000 for that i used burp suite burp suite is an open source tool which acts as a proxy and lets you intercept and analyze the network traffic that is being sent from your device to the web page and the response that is being sent from web page to your device to start with burp suit simply come here and type burp suit simply press next here and start burp now once we are here it might seem overwhelming but just turn the intercept off for now and click on open browser now burp suit will act as a proxy so when whatever you send a request to a web page it will be visible in your http history for example you could see all these requests were being sent just when you searched for hello so now as you can see this is an insecure login page 
you can just enter admin and type password as one two three one two three and on pressing login in your http history you can see the request that was being sent this was the request with username admin and password one two three one two three and this was the response that the server gave you can catch this request before it is being sent to the server just by turning on the proxy uh, inter intercept you press login it is still loading but in verb suite you can see i can change the password to the admin and send it to bat it so getting back to the vending machine although i cannot tell you how exactly their bat and work but what i can do is i can tell you what happened after the confirmation of the payment came from the external server which was not in my private ip so as you can see these were the three main requests that played the major role the open port request was a way to tell the machine that a vend request was coming the vend item took a body parameter item which told the machine what item to dispense and this close port request was just a clean up after the vend was successful so now all i had to do was to automate these three requests and i would be good now the only thing left was to automate this process so i did that as you can see on your screen this is the web page that i made that anyone in my college could use to enter the product number and just press on vent by just doing that the item would fall from the vending machine without payment so all of this could have been avoided if the vending machine did not host on local network now despite having access to free chocolates and chips for the rest of my life i knew that it was wrong i reported the bug to the company and they rewarded me with a bounty wallet despite not having a bounty program for it at that time so yeah that is how i hacked a vending machine